Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to make a beautiful anti-aging skin cream using a light sea moss gel or sea moss infused water. So in my last two videos I shared with you how to make two different types of soap using sea moss gel. And this video is gonna sort of conclude my short series on using sea moss in your skincare products. There are so many different things you can do and I have been exploring some other options with it like serums and hair conditioners, but I don't wanna bore you with too many sea moss videos in a row. So this will be the last one for a little while and I will be revisiting sea moss in the near future. So if you're new to my channel or maybe not so new and you've been around for a while and you like the content that you're seeing here, please remember to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, please leave a comment in the comment section and consider subscribing to my channel. All of that really helps my channel out and helps me to bring you the content that you really wanna see. Now, for the recipe today, I will be posting this recipe on my Patreon campaign along with the full written tutorial. And you can unlock the recipe for just a small $5 pledge. In fact, that small $5 pledge gains you access not only to the recipe that we're working on today, but every recipe that I've ever published. So if you're interested in other things that I've done on my YouTube channel, most likely you'll be able to find it over on my Patreon campaign. All right, let me get my hairnet and my gloves and let's get started. All right, before you get started, it's important to know that before you make any type of lotion or cosmetic, you need to go ahead and clean and sanitize your entire workstation down. And that includes anything that's gonna come into contact with your product, like scales, um, immersion blenders, and any type of uh, spatulas or equipment that you're gonna be holding your finished product in. So here, I just have a bit of sea moss, and it's just come straight out of the bag. So I am using the wild crafted raw sea moss, the gold sea moss, and this comes from St. Lucia, but I did order it on Amazon. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and rinse off and clean my sea moss. And as you can see, it's got bits of um, salt and salt water and debris a little bit on it. So the first thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and rinse it really cleanly under the tap. And I'll bring you right back for the next step. All right, so I've gone ahead and rinsed the sea moss off under the running water, and now I'm just, I have it in this bowl full of water, and I'm just gonna make sure it's all cleaned off and before we get started. So we're just gonna make sure it's washed and all that debris is, is gone. So if this water turns a bit cloudy, then you just wanna go ahead and dump it out and put fresh water in it until you get clear water. So as you can see, my water is pretty clear, but it's starting to get a little bit cloudy here. So we're just gonna continue to wash. And then I will go ahead and dump this water and refill it. And I'll bring you back when we're done washing it. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and place the sea moss into this pot. So we're gonna be slowly warming this up eventually. So what I'm gonna do is just weigh out my water. So I'm using distilled water and sort of the rule of thumb here is however much lotion you're using or however much water you're using in your lotion recipe, you wanna go ahead and double that because we are gonna lose a little bit of water to evaporation and also this water is gonna be absorbed by the sea moss. And you wanna completely cover the sea moss and give it room to expand. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside for about 15 minutes or so, just to kind of allow the sea moss to get rehydrated and absorb some of that water. And while that's sitting aside, we're gonna go ahead and weigh out our ingredients for the heated phase. So this recipe is gonna have a heated oil phase and a heated water phase, and then it's gonna have a cool down phase. And all of that will make more sense as we go along. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and start weighing off what we're using and I'll go ahead and explain to you why we're using the ingredients that we are using. So the first thing we're gonna weigh off here is our liquid oils. So today we're using sunflower oil and I just got this gallon of sunflower oil from Nature's Garden, but sunflower oil has a bunch of um, antioxidants and vitamin E, and I really like the skin feel of it. It's lightweight, but it also feels significant on your skin. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our sunflower oil. And then to this, we're gonna be adding in another lightweight oil. This is used a lot of the times in um, skincare products. We're gonna be using safflower oil. Safflower, safflower oil is um, very lightweight. It's used a lot in um, skincare products for the face because it's a lightweight carrier oil. has a very silky feeling to it as well. It absorbs readily into the skin. And then to this, we're gonna be adding in our e-wax. So we're gonna be using two different types of e-wax today. We're gonna be using the Silky Emulsifying Wax from Nature's Garden. And this has a very nice lightweight um, feeling to it, it absorbs easily. So we're using the Silky E-Wax. It just has a very nice skin feel. Now the E-Wax is responsible, of course, for changing the, for changing the um, water and oil into actual lotion. It's what combines the two things together, the oil and the water. It, if you don't use e-wax, then your oils and waters will separate and you won't have a lotion. Okay, we are also using a co-emulsifier today. And the reason why I'm using a co-emulsifier is because I'm going for a thicker type of emulsion and this glycerol stearate SE. It's glycerol stearate SE and it's self-emulsifying, but it's used as a co-emulsifier. It contains um, potassium stearate, and this is a monoester of glycerin and stearic acid, and it's from vegetable origin. It is great for oil and water emulsions, and it can be used as a co-emulsifier and a thickener. So this is gonna have a really nice skin feel to it because of the glycerin content, and it's just gonna make it a really nice type of thick, creamy emulsion. Of course, this is an optional, you know, ingredient. I'm just doing this for added luxury and skin feel since we are making a facial cream. Now, directly to this, we're gonna be adding in some cetyl alcohol flakes. Now, cetyl alcohol is being used here as the thickener, but it's really good for facial creams and facial products because it just sinks into the skin and has a really nice skin feel. It's, it absorbs readily, unlike stearic acid, which can leave streaking on your skin, um, which is fine. You just need to rub it, rub it in a little bit more if it does that, but I really like the way acetyl alcohol works in facial creams and lotions. So that's what we're using today to go ahead and thicken this up and to give it a nice silky yet dense skin feel. And you don't need to use a, you don't need to use a whole lot of this either. It really kind of goes a long way. Okay. And then the rest of the ingredients are going to be our cool down ingredients. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and slowly warm up 
the sea moss. And I'll bring you over there to the stove to show you what that looks like as that process is going along. All right, so I have my stove on low or medium low at this point. I did turn it on medium just to kind of get that water warm, but I'm gonna just steep it in this warm water um, for about 20 minutes. And we're just trying to get the sea moss to fully like lose its integrity. Right now it's very much intact. And so I'll show you what it looks like as it starts to break down and kind of lose some of that shape and integrity. Okay, so this has been simmering now on low heat for about 10 minutes. And as you can see, the sea moss is starting to lose its integrity and break down a little bit. And what we're just trying to do is infuse the water with the sea moss. And then over here, I have my heated oil phase ingredients sitting in a saute pan uh, filled with a little bit of water. And we're gonna go ahead and start heating this up until everything is melted down. And we're gonna just be heating it up over low, medium to low heat. We're just trying to get this melted down and about the same temperature eventually as our water is gonna be. So I will bring you right back when we're ready for the next step. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes now, and as you can see, the sea moss here has completely lost its integrity and it's starting to break up. So that's exactly what we're going for here. And so what we're gonna do next is just go ahead and strain off all the sea moss um, bits. So what we're really going for is just to collect the infused water So we're just pouring it over a mesh strainer and we're allowing the water to just drain into this glass container. And there you see, you could actually use um, the actual sea moss itself end the lotion, but I really am going for a very smooth emulsion here because that's the way that I like it to feel. So now here we have just our beautiful sea moss infused water. If you allow this to sit and get to room temperature, right now it's sitting at 156 degrees. If you allow this to sit to all the way to room temperature, this will turn into sort of a gel type consistency. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this and what the next step is. Okay, so this definitely is gonna turn into a gel-like consistency as it gets closer to room temperature. And that's okay, except that I don't want my lotion to be so thick that it's hard to spread. So I am gonna be further diluting this down. So I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. So I'm gonna pour off what I need here. Okay, so this is not gonna be 100% of the water phase we're gonna be diluting this down. You could use distilled water to dilute this down. That would be fine. I'm actually gonna be using chamomile essence water because chamomile is very soothing. It has anti-redness properties. It's great for facial care. And it has a really nice, beautiful, natural chamomile smell. Now you could actually just use plain distilled water here, but this is what I'm choosing to dilute mine down with. Okay, and then we're just gonna give this a good stir to combine. And all of that sea moss water that I set aside 
you could use that for other projects. You can pour it into ice cube trays and freeze it. Okay. We're just giving this a stir to combine and that way our water phase will be a bit more fluid and our lotion consistency won't be super, super thick and hard to use. This is what we're doing. Okay, so we're sitting at about 105 degrees. And the next thing is, I have turned the heat off of that oil phase. Everything in the heated oil phase has been completely melted down. So I'm gonna go ahead and check the temperature on that. And it is a bit too warm at the moment. So we're gonna give this a minute to kind of cool off. And as soon as it's a little closer to the temperature of this um, water phase, we will be combining both together. So I'll be right back when that gets closer to temperature. Okay, we are ready to go ahead and combine our water and oil phases together here. So what we're gonna do is just slowly pour the water into the oil phase. Stir it by hand at first. And then, of course, we're gonna have to take the stick blender and get this completely emulsified. And as you can see, it's already turning into a beautiful cream. So we're gonna to continue to blend for about three minutes. All right, now it is completely emulsified, but it's still quite warm. So we're gonna go ahead and set this aside and get our cool down ingredients weighed off. And we are adding in some really, really gorgeous cool down ingredients here. So I'm gonna show you what we're putting in. So we are first gonna be adding glycerin to this little container. And glycerin is a humectant, which means it's gonna help draw moisture to the skin. And it's vegetable based. And it does give the lotion a really nice skin feel too. Okay. And then to this, we're gonna be adding in some soy rice peptides. Now this is specifically to target anti-aging. It's great for wrinkles, it's used in eye creams a lot, it helps with eye puffiness, it helps with um, dark circles under your eyes, it helps your skin look smooth and rejuvenated. So we're using this specifically for its anti-aging properties and I picked this up at makingcosmetics.com. All right, and we're just gonna give that a stir to combine. Okay, and then to this, we're gonna be adding in our preservative and our essential oil. So today I'm gonna be using Optifin as my preservative. Optifin is really good for lotions and creams. And then the last thing I'm going to be adding to this container is my essential oil. Now I'm going to be using Lavender 4042 and this is from Brambleberry and it's a really gorgeous lavender and I use it um, a lot in my soaps and in my facial creams and also I figured this would smell really good in combination with the um, chamomile water that we used. Now we're just gonna give this a good stir. And then we are probably ready to go ahead and add it into 
our lotion. I'm just taking a quick temperature read here. And we're sitting right around 94 degrees Fahrenheit. So we are ready to go ahead and add in the cool down ingredients. All right, so now that the cool down ingredients are all nice and incorporated into this cream, we're gonna go ahead and allow it to sit and set up more and get closer to room temperature before we um, bottle it up. I like to do that just so that we avoid um, getting condensation in our containers. So also I wanted to show you what the consistency looks like as we get closer to room temperature. But I wanted to chat with you a little bit about why we decided to use sea moss in the facial cream. So sea moss is full of minerals that are great for your body and also your skin. And it's known for, it's, it has a bunch of collagen and collagen as we know is great for skin health and it helps your skin look plump and young and rejuvenated. And as we age, we lose collagen out of our skin. So this is a great vegetarian way to add it into your skincare routine and apply it topically through the use of sea moss. So that's the main reason why I wanted to use it in this facial cream and to show you how you can infuse the sea moss into the water and get those benefits. So I will bring you back when this has reached room temperature and we're ready to go ahead and bottle it up. All right, everybody, we're back to go ahead and package up this lotion and I just wanted to show you, we are sitting at right around 75 degrees and my house is right around 72. So we are ready to go ahead and package this up. This is the consistency of the lotion. And I think it's great for like a day cream or underneath makeup, or even if you want a lightweight cream before you go to bed. So I am gonna go ahead and pipe this into these little one ounce containers. And the reason I'm piping it is because it's really hard to get lotion or cream into this little opening here. And it's gonna be easier to just go ahead and use a piping bag. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up my piping bag. Right, everybody and that's how they look they're really gorgeous so I'm gonna go ahead and cap these off and then I'm gonna show you what they look like going onto the skin I just love these little one ounce containers I picked them up from nature's garden and I use them for my for my eye gels as well All right, so this is gonna be mine. And I just wanna to describe to you what it feels like. It feels cool to the touch and it's just got a nice, very nice silky, lightweight feeling to it, but it also has a little bit of bounce 
and that is from the sea moss gel. And so you see how nicely that just goes into the skin with very little white streaking. Just a little bit of white streaking easily rubs away. It just has the best skin feel. It's absolutely gorgeous and it smells amazing. All right, everybody, that is how you make a beautiful anti-aging sea moss infused facial cream. I hope I inspired you. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. Catch you on the next video. Keep shining.